Hello everyone. Welcome to the Engineering Explain channel. In this session, I am going to discuss about the brief descriptions on biomass energy. Here first, we should know that what is meant by biomass and how the energy we are going to get from the biomass, then what are the methods of conversion and what are its useful applications. Those we will discuss briefly here. The biomass means it is an organic matter from plant or animal origin. From the plant or animal origin, the what the organic matter we are going to get that is the biomass. The one thing is there here the biomass means that whatever the organic matter we are going to get, it should not be useful for any other applications. Then only we can say it is a biomass. Directly wood cannot be used as a biomass because it is used for the some other applications that is the timber applications and other applications also. Like that the whatever the organic matters which are there from the plant or animal if those are not useful for any other applications then we will call as a biomass and from that we can generate the electricity. Then how that energy will be comes to that biomass? That we will discuss here how the energy content will be there in the biomass. There is energy from biomass and biogas. We will discuss here briefly. The potential for application of a biomass as an alternate source of energy in India is very great. In India, the potential for the biomass is very high because we have a plenty of agriculture and forest resources for production of biomass. Because ours is a tropical country, that's why there are large forests are growing and also ours is agriculture based country and from that we are going to produce a large quantity of the agricultural residues and the forest residues. That's why the biomass is the largest potential second largest potential in our country in the renewable energy. First one is the solar, second is the biomass and wind. The three are the major the whatever the potential energy sources are there, renewable energy sources. Biomass is produced in nature through a photosynthesis achieved by solar energy conversion. The photosynthesis is one of the major reaction on the earth which is producing the carbohydrates that is not only uh, giving the energy source but it will give the, all the human needs as the food whatever we are going to get and as well as the, for the energy, the biomass and we are going to have the shelter, all these things. That's why the biomass the very important and for that the photosynthesis reaction very important reaction on this. As the word clearly, clearly signifies, biomass means organic matter. It's organic matter. In the simplest form, the reaction is the process of photosynthesis in the presence of solar radiation. The photosynthesis is carried out in the presence of solar radiation. It can be represented as follows. In the photosynthesis, what happens actually? Water reacts with the carbon dioxide in the green plants, in the presence of solar energy converts into a carbohydrates or a organic matter and releasing the oxygen. That is the photosynthesis reaction. In continuation with that, in the reaction, water and carbon dioxide are converted into organic material that is CH2O, which is basic molecules of forming, forming carbohydrate stable at low temperature. It breaks at high temperature. That whatever the carbohydrate formed, it will be stable at normal temperature. And it will breaks at a higher temperature, releasing an amount of heat equal to the 112,000 calorie per mole. That is a 469 kilo, kilo joule mole. This much of energy it will be releasing under the high temperature. That means that reaction you can see here. 
H2O plus of oxygen that will form the carbon dioxide and water plus of 110 kilocalories per mole heat energy it will release. That uh, organic matter whatever it is formed that burns under the presence of oxygen. The combustion reaction is forming the carbon dioxide and the water vapor and releasing the heat. That is the exothermic reaction. The absorbed energy of photon should be at least equal to this amount. Now whatever the solar energy it is absorbing okay, from in the form of photons that is at least this much it will be there. That is the indirect conversion of the solar energy. It is therefore possible to produce large amount of carbohydrate by growing say algae under optimum conditions in plastic tubes or in ponds. Therefore as this much of heat it is receiving in the form of photons from the sunlight, we can grow the algae in the some optimum conditions in the tubes or ponds, then we can absorb that is a capture that uh, solar energy in the form of organic matter and that can be used for the heat release applications. The algae could be harvested, dried and burned for production of heat and that could be converted into a electricity by conventional methods. Here we can generate the electricity by conventional methods. That means uh, by burning of that one and later by uh, boiling the water to form a steam and steam is expanded to the generate the electricity in the turbine. The biomass is used directly by burning or is further processed to produce the more convenient liquid and gaseous fuels. This biomass whatever it is there, it can be burned okay, directly to get the heat or it can be converted into other uh, process to form convenient fluids like a liquid fluids and the gaseous fluids. Now what are the categories of biomass conversions are there? The first category is to burn the biomass directly to get the energy. That is the very uh, from the ancient days. Okay, the directly the biomass we are going to burn to get the heat for cooking of the food, boiling of the water, okay, heating of the water and getting the heat during the winter seasons. So all these things so we are going to burn the biomass to get the energy. That is the first method. That is that one. In the second category, the biomass is converted into ethanol, methanol to be used as a liquid fuels engine. The second category, this one, here the fermentation process we are going to carry out, later I will discuss that one. Then the liquid fuels we are going to get, that can be used in the internal combustion engines. That is the second category. The third category is to ferment biomass anaerobically to obtain the gaseous fuel called biogas. Here, the whatever the fermentation that is also called as the anaerobic digestion. In this one actually it is a bio, uh, bacterial process under the options of uh, oxygen, air that is called as anaerobic uh, reaction we will call. The anaerobes means some bacteria which will grow the under the options of uh, air and those will convert the biomass into a methane that is called as a anaerobic digestion and that whatever the gas is producing that is called as a biogas. Here we can see that one gas is fuel called biogas. Biogas it will have in about 55 to 65 percent methane and 30 to 40 percent CO2 and rest of impurities H2, H2S and some N2. This will be present the biogas can be produced by anaerobic digestion and that biogas can be used for the domestic cooking and that can be later we can use in the internal combustion also. In the rural areas where mostly this is used, cow dung is used for the uh, this biogas production, the anaerobic digestion, the plants are used and later while taking that is separately the biomass chapter we are going to discuss that uh, whatever the biogas plants are there. In the rural areas they are going to use for the domestic cooking applications. Biomass resources include the following. So what are the resources are there for the biomass? The first one is the concentrated waste, that is the municipal solid waste, sewage, wood products, industrial waste, manure of large lots. That may be cow dung and all these things. That is a pig dung and uh, poultry wastage, all these manures we are going to get. The second one is the dispersed waste 
residue. That is a crop residue, leggings residue, that is a forest residue. Disposer manure, that one. The disposer manure means here the manure, whatever is there. If it is disposed, okay, that is the also a second category of then the one category of that biomass. Then harvested biomass, standby biomass or bi biomass energy plantation, we can call. Harvested biomass means here some of the fast growing plants which are planted for the energy purpose only. And those are uh, as uh, those are growing faster, then those are cut for the set after the certain uh, period of time, and then that can be used for energy generation. That we will call as a harvested biomass or standby biomass, biomass energy plantation. Standby biomass means at any time, whenever it is a requirement, is that, that plants are cut and used for the energy. Okay, that is another type of the biomass resource. Then here, this whatever the flow diagram is there, it will give the, the total biomass conversion methods. The mainly biomass conversion process is divided into two types. One is thermochemical process, that is with the heat, the chemical reaction what will take place, those are called as a thermochemical process. And this is a biochemical, the biological chemical reactions what will take place, those are called as a biochemical process. In the thermochemical processes, first one is the combustion, that is the direct combustion, okay, the burning of the, that biomass to release the heat, that is the one of the thermochemical method. The second one is the pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is the combustion of the burning of the, this biomass under the restricted supply of the, restricted supply of the, that oxygen. As we, if we supply the restricted oxygen, then the whatever this partial combustion of the biomass will be taking place and that will become only that is a volatile matters and the, that moisture content will be given off, then it will be converted into a charcoal or a biochar we will call. That is the pyrolysis process. That is combustion of the burning of the biomass under the controlled supply of the oxygen or air that will convert into a charcoal of the biomass that is called as a transport fuel or biochar. Okay, that is the pyrolysis process. Gasification or liquefaction or hydrogenation. In this one, gasification means this is similar to the pyrolysis. Here also we are going to, uh, combustion reaction we are going to carry out under the controlled supply of the oxygen. Then the gaseous fuel will be formed. The carbon whatever is there in the uh, organic matter or in the biomass will not convert into carbon dioxide, it will be converted into carbon monoxide. The hydrogen what is there, it will not convert into water vapor, it will form say H2 only. Then the gas whatever it is forming, that gas will be rich in the carbon monoxide and the hydrogen which can be potential for the further combustion and that is the uh, if it is gas is collected gasification if it is condensed to a liquid then we can call it is a liquefaction then hydrogenation here the hydrogen is formed there is a hydrogenation hydrogenation process and that whatever the gaseous fuel is there that can be used in the internal combustion engines directly synthetic transport fuel we can use that is called as synthetic fuel Okay, that can be used for this one. Then the advantage what we are going to get to that is from the uh, biomass we are going to get the gaseous fuel. That is about the thermochemical processes. In the biochemical processes, first one is the anaerobic digestion. Anaerobic digestion, I told you that one. Here the bacterial process, the bacteria of strictly anaerobes will uh, he eat that one and produce a gas, eat the biomass and produce the gas which is rich in methane and that is the anaerobic digestion we are going to take and there the methane will be producing that is called as a biogas. The next one is a fermentation process. The fermentation of this biomass is carried out under the some process there by adding the yeast and that will be uh, uh, kept for the certain period of the time. Then the reaction will be, fermentation will be carried out, 
and thereby producing the ethanol or a methanol liquid fuels those will be can be used as the fuels in the internal combustion engines okay and the partially those are to be added or mixed with the petroleum fuels those are also a alternative fuels in this one like this in the different ways the biomass can be converted into useful form of energies and those can be used for the different applications later we will discuss that is a separate of this one how the different process will be carried out uh, for the conversion thank you for watching if you like the video comment and share and subscribe to my channel engineering explain thank you once again